Hello guys, today I'm going to open and clean a GTX 1660 Ti. I noticed that uh, it was running 10 degrees hotter than the rest of my GPUs. As you can see in the picture, is above 60, while the other ones are well below. I tried to run my GPUs around 60 degrees. That one, the difference is too big. So, let's disassemble and see what's going on inside. Let's start by removing the back screws. Only have four, so it's not too hard. Open up. And let's unplug the fence. It was a bit hard for me because I was trying to remove the whole thing. <laughs> Eventually I realized that and just removed the, the plug. There we go. So to remove the thermal paste I'm going to use a plastic spatula and alcohol wipes. So the spatula is going to help me remove the biggest part and the dry bits as well while the wet wipes gonna clean up the rest make sure you remove everything don't leave anything behind and here we go nice and shiny. Use the dry paper to dry any wet spots left by the wet wipes. For the heat sink, exactly the same process. Start by removing the big dry bits. And using the wet wipe to remove the rest and leave everything very clean. That done, let's remove the four screws on the side, two on each side, so we can clean uh, between the fence and the heat sink as well. You can see it's very dirty, very sticky dust. Look at that. Yeah. So I use a paintbrush to remove the biggest dust on the heat sink and fence, and now using wet wipe again. I'm going to clean the fence because the paintbrush won't remove everything. Everything is very sticky. Yuck. So make sure everything is clean as new so it lasts a bit more. With that done, let's put everything back together. Starting by attaching the heatsink putting the two screws on each side and time to apply the thermal paste I'm gonna start by attaching the fence to the GPU so we we'll make things easier at the end For the thermal, I'm using MX4 thermal compound. You can find that pretty much everywhere online. And using the plastic spatula, I'm going to spread the thermal around. I put a little too much, but there's no worry because as I'm spreading, the spatula is going to remove some anyway. So I'm going to cover the shiny part of the GPU and try to put a nice even spread.
with that done let's put back the heatsink and the screws on the back to put the screws always use a cross pattern and don't put too tight or you might break things everything seems to be working fine let's put it back on the ring and test it so it's been running for a few minutes now and as you can see is well below 60 degrees now GPU number one is on the front so it's got more airflow that's why it's lower I hope this helped you and thanks for watching guys